um, today I'm going to show you how to make pav bhaji in an instant pot. So here I've added two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of oil and I added chopped um, about one chopped red onions that I'm trying to saute. Uh, once it gets light brown I'll go ahead and add some ginger garlic paste. So let's see, I'm going to add about two teaspoons of ginger garlic paste and I will saute that to get the raw paste out of it just for about a few seconds. Next I'm adding a cup of frozen green tea and you can saute that for about a minute or two. Now we're adding about three chopped ripe red tomatoes. Mix it well. Then we are going to cook this until it softens. In the meantime, I'll go ahead and add some spices. The turmeric. About a teaspoon of coriander powder. And three teaspoons of any uh, pav bhaji masala. I use store bought. Um, you can use your own if you make it at home. And half a teaspoon of garam masala. and some salt. Pal bhaji happens to be a favorite of my kids. Um, I'm trying it in an instant pot so it saves time and um, I like cooking in an instant pot because it seals all the flavors really good. So we have been cooking the mixture for about 8 to 10 minutes. And now I'm using a potato masher to mash the tomatoes, onions, peas, make sure so we want to like mash it up really well to make a smooth consistency. I like uh, my pav bhaji a bit chunky, that's why I did not boil it all together um, after the mixture is nicely mushed. I have um, about half of cauliflower, so I would say about two cups of cauliflower that I uh, boiled and I've mashed it, so I'll go ahead and add that in there. Stir it. And then I have two boiled potatoes that I've added in the mixture now. Two boiled mashed potatoes. I have used red potatoes. You can use white, yellow, any color you want. Mix it all really well. After you mix the potato and cauliflower mixture for about a minute or two, add water, um, let's see, about, about a cup and a half of warm water. You can always add more if you feel that the consistency is thick after it cooks. So 
So this is about a cup and a half water. Next, I'm going to use the potato masher again to mash the rest of the big pieces. And I will change from saute mode to um, soup mode. And cook on that for about oh, like 15 minutes. I, and I'll keep checking in between. So the bhaji has been cooking for about 15 minutes or so in the soup setting. Um, another option you have if you don't want to cook on the soup setting, you can do it on the pressure cook setting for about a minute or so. So this is what the consistency looks like. I'm going to garnish it, add some chopped cilantro. And it's ready to serve with hot bread or hot pow buns. You can butter the two sides of pow buns. I usually buy mine um, at the store. And you can serve this with side of chopped onions and some lime slices and enjoy nice and hearty pow bhaji. Thank you.